Wally. <laughs> no way, Wally's done. What's good, everyone? Welcome to the channel. Today, I am watching Wally. I'm a big fan of animated movies, and Wally is one of those ones that I haven't seen yet. I don't know anything about it. Someone gave me a slight spoiler and told me it was a romance, which I'm curious to see how that pans out because I just saw a little robot on a pack and I just assumed it has something to do with space or something. But thank you to everyone watching. Thanks to my patrons. Appreciate you guys. Let's watch Wally. -E. Ah, good old Disney. Oh, yeah, I haven't seen Toy Story as well. Out there, there's a world outside of Yonkers. <laughs> Yonkers. Listen, Barnaby. <laughs> Born a bee. Listen, Who's singing this song? Is it Wally? Yeah, this definitely seems like a junkyard for sure. Like a scrap pile. Oh, that's Wally. Oh. So Wally is like a recycling drone. And a lunchbox. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Wow. So Wally's building this skyscrapers of scrap metal. That is wild. Oh, it definitely feels like humans are extinct in this one. Wally seems beaten up too. Yeah, you need new kicks. <laughs> There's plenty of space out in space. Wow. Female Starliners leaving each day. We'll clean up the mess while you're away. Interesting. And with our all access hover chairs, even grandma can join the fun. That's so interesting that they have actual humans in the movie. Leave all our problems behind and go to space, huh? Is that Wally's home? So is this movie making a commentary about consumerism? What a nice little home. <laughs> it's almost like getting home from work and taking your shoes off. Simple things of life, you know? What oh, has that's a VHS. <laughs> is that an iPod? Wow, with a magnifying glass. Wally is cooling. <laughs> a spork. <laughs> right in the middle. <laughs> I love Pixar for their like nonverbal storytelling. <laughs> it's like, whoa, I don't want to miss that part. Oh, while well, he's recording the song. Aww. Is Wally learning how to love? <laughs> Wally's also nice and kind. Hey, Wally seemed to got his life figured out at the end of the world. Seems like Wally's the only one around. I like that this cockroach has become like uh, Wally's best friend. <laughs> oh, I'm like, Wally, you just killed your mans. <laughs> wow, still in good. What's important to us might not be important to Wally, right? I think that's one of the beautiful things I love about animated movies. So much storytelling can be done without vocals. Like, without talking. What did you see? Wow. That was the first live we've seen this whole time. <laughs> Wally, I don't think you were supposed to do that. What in the world is that? Uh oh, is someone luring Wally? Now I see how my cat feels. 
I hope there's not a weapon or something. <laughs> Wally, run away. Oh no, Wally, run. Is that the human ship landing? Are those humans coming back to Earth after their voyage? Is that a different robot? Or is there something in the pod? Mm. Look at that. <laughs> Wally's like, whoa. Is Wally falling in love? <laughs> uh oh, you're getting blasted again. <laughs> whoa. <laughs> Wally is a maze. What could they be doing here? Hello? Wally, you better... Um... <laughs> Wally is probably like, how can something this graceful be this destructive? It's almost like this robot is here taking data from Earth. Is this robot from the humans that are in space or well you about to get shot again? This is RIP cockroach. Yo. Uh -huh. <laughs> what is your deal, blasting Wally? <laughs> what is your deal? Who are you? Mm. Cockroach, save your life, Wally. That's a that's a quick introduction. I guess a relationship is being built. <laughs> I mean, I guess I understand Wally because I think this is the only form Wally had seen in a long time. Well, except the cockroach. <laughs> Wally, what are you doing? <laughs> they weren't impressed with Wally. They're gonna finally chat. <laughs> Wally seems nervous. <laughs> Wally trying to be smooth. Oh. <laughs> Wally. Eve. Gotcha. I don't know if Eve is to be trusted yet. Storm, gotcha, they gotta hide. Eve, relax! Well, we got you, Eve. Welcome to the crib, Eve. Welcome to Wally's humble abode. <laughs> You pop. Dang, you used up everything. That's so cute, man. Wally went from being lonely to having Darnia a best friend now. Eve, what you doing? <laughs> Wally dancing as well. For some reason, I don't know if Eve can be trusted yet. <laughs> Cause I don't know, it seems like Eve was sent here on a mission, on a classified mission. But I think Eve is learning to make friends with Wally. Oh, he got speared. Yeah. 
Interesting, because Wally didn't know how to use a lot of these things. <laughs> Is Eve lighting a fire in your heart, Wally? <laughs> <laughs> Eve did the snatch. <laughs> Eve is like, that's a bit too direct. I think Eve is starting to like it here. Ah, organic form. What is going on? Hello? Was Eve put here to find organic life? It's like, Eve, give me back my plant. Or is Eve doing something with it? Oh, uh, he's trying to charge Eve. <laughs> or was Eve sent here to like replenish the earth? There's not a lot of dialogue in this, so permit me to be that dialogue. Oh, wow, it rains here. Oh, wow. <laughs> Wally, you trying to hotwire you? How romantic. Aww. <laughs> Wally said we're gonna hold hands by force. Such a strange yet beautiful movie. Don't worry, Eve will be back. Alright. Uh-oh. Oh, is that the spaceship coming back? Oh, it's grabbing Eve. Ah, uh, that was their mission. Hey, go save your shawty, Wally. Oh, there's a lot of Eves. <laughs> and Wally say I'm coming with it. Wally really said, give me back my girl. Oh no, now you left cockroach alone. And I'm guessing is it kind of makes sense that only a cockroach would survive this because they're notorious for being darn near indestructible. So that's interesting. Oh wow. First time in space, Wally? Yep, that's what Earth looked like, Wally. I like how Wally is always trying to share new stuff with Eve. Oh, you're gonna be charged up quick, my boy. <laughs> oh, it is beautiful though. Mm. Whoa, indeed. For a creature as curious as Wally, he's in heaven right now. <laughs> Literally, he's in the heavens right now. Are those where humans are? Yeah, so I'm guessing humans abandoned Earth. Mm, oh, it's car wash time. Well, oh, we got more robots. A whole lot more robots. <laughs> they grab Wally as well. 100%. It's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wally, let them give you a bath. Let them give you a bath with your musty ass. <laughs> Wally said, bring my girl back. <laughs> it's crazy how much these robots have so much like personality. You can tell their personality type just by the way they interact with other stuff so my question right now is this a robot colony or is it a freaking human colony because so far there's been like zero humans oh there's a human well then what do you want to do i don't know something yep consumerism for sure Make a place grief. Jealous, it doesn't any good. Interesting. Okay, now it's making a whole lot more sense. Uh, 
humans have finished destroying earth and then they're living in space but even as living in space it's like robotics and technology is just not taking over in the sense of ruling them but just taking over because everyone's gotten lazy and everyone just used technology for convenience to the point where they don't even walk anymore that is tough wow. and everybody's kind of obese hey, They can't even pick their self up anymore. John. <laughs> Interesting. Right. It's like, look at the world in front of you. This is like convenience galore. I'm sure the robot wiped their asses too. I, I mean, technically duvets, yeah, exist. <laughs> I'm so curious to see what they're trying to do with that plant life. I mean, I have a pretty good idea, but. Wow, they don't even do nothing for themselves anymore. The sad part is you'll be surprised how many humans actually want a reality like this or a future like this. You know what I'm saying? They literally do nothing for themselves anymore. That is so freaking sad. And uh, welcome to day 255,642. Wow, they've been here for a minute. As always, I'm sure our forefathers would be proud to know that 700 years later we'd be doing the exact same thing they were doing. So, I don't sure think that's how it works. For your free... What's that flashing button? That's Eve. Positive? Yep, they found life. Does he not want that? Why did he step back like that? Has returned from Earth with a confirmed specimen of ongoing photosynthesis. Let's go. Right, time to go back home. I bet they don't want to go back home. My thing is, they they seem like they're way too comfortable over here in space to go back to Earth. Like I said, a lot of humans wouldn't mind living this life, but uh, bring back to Earth, they won't want that. Relay instructions. No, you gotta read. Manuel. Yeah, open it like a book. <laughs> Yeah, that's Wally. Oh, Wally is just happy Eve is back. But the dilemma now is that Earth is not at a point where people can come rehabilitated again. Like, it was just one little plant, you know? It's not like Earth is luscious like it once was before. So, if all these people head back to Earth, they're not going to make it, are they? Plant, right, right. Well, where is it? Did Wally take the plants back? <laughs> Where is the plant? No plant in there. <laughs> you just notice Wally now? Nice to meet you. Wally's about to get a shiny new, new look. Analyze the fine earth. My goodness. That's where you're from. Earth, the surface of the world. <laughs> My guy, you're still here Sorry, cleaning. Just a tree, a tree, a tree. You look gorgeous. <laughs> Wally, you look pretty as hell. Are these all the defective ones? Yeah. To him, this is a freaking horror show right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wally said no. <laughs> uh oh. Wally 
what did you do? Uh oh. Wally! <laughs> oh no, they're letting all the defected ones out. <laughs> Wally is about to go mess up their whole civilization up there. Oh, everybody's about to panic, Caution. aren't they? Rogue robots. Ah! At least Eva is saving him. Wally. <laughs> Wally was just trying to save you. He only meant well. Caution. Rogue robots. <laughs> Eva. <laughs> Eva is not having it. <laughs> Wally. Maybe this is not the right time, Wally. Earth. Is she trying to send him away? Earth. Oh, he doesn't know, does he? Mm -mm, she's not going with Directive. you. What happened to the plants, though? But he likes you, though. He don't want to leave you. Who that? Whoa! It's sending it back to Earth? Ah, I see. So is it the robots or someone on there that don't want them to return back to Earth? Because they're comfortable up there where they are. Let's go. <laughs> Wally, don't break it. Hello? Self destruct? I thought this was a pod going to Earth. Ah, uh, it was trying to destroy the plant. Oh, Wally. No freaking way. <laughs> Wally, you out of juice, my guy. <laughs> Y'all keep missing each other. <laughs> That's so cute. That's like the... Right. Ha <laughs> Wally's like, this feels nice. Did they just kiss and robot? <laughs> Best romance I've seen in 2024. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> you know, I was, I was, I was wondering how this movie was gonna be a romance quote unquote i was so curious and i am impressed to see how two inanimate objects um inorganic objects you know or like creatures are like expressing love for each other just through their gestures and their sounds and how they look at each other it's it's amazing Right. I love the fact that ever since he bumped into her and took her screen off her face, she started appreciating everything she's seen more, which obviously there's a lit lesson in that. And without sounding too preachy, sometimes just freaking go outside and experience, look at shit, you know, what's important around you. Well, I live in the Midwest, so it is minus six degrees right now. So it's not too fun looking outside right now because it's cold as hell, but it still has its beauty. Hey. Hi. Hi. <laughs> it's like a domino effect, man. Now I want to know the conspiracy. I love that Captain is learning. 
These are called farms. Divine dancing. Dance. <laughs> a series of movements involving speed and rhythm match harmoniously oh. with music. Not always. <laughs> It doesn't always match harmoniously, but that was the beauty of it. This movie is genuinely funny, too. Look at them. They're the only ones there actually alive. Like, actually having fun. <laughs> that was beautiful. He always wants to hold her hand. <laughs> Eva is like relax, mission first. <laughs> Directive, gotcha. Eva is like, bro, relax. Wrong time. People, it's not about me. It's oh. oh yeah. Uh, how did you find it? Mm -hmm. We can go back home for the first time. Where's the blue sky? That's what humans did to Earth, man. We destroyed it. Where's the, the grass? You know that song. Dancing. They're, um... Dancing. dancing. There you go. <laughs> yeah, that's what Wally's always trying to do. These are all the things they did together when uh, Eva was asleep. Oh, this is this is a beautiful concept. I like that she's replaying and seeing what what he did. Don't worry, Eva gonna come back for you, my boy. <laughs> this guy is still investigating. But I want to know who tried to get rid of the plants though. Is that Otto that did that or there's some other like bad robot that is on here? Found the plant. Fire up the hollow detector. Not necessary, Captain. You may give it to me. Uh oh, it's I Otto. Captain, I insist you give me the plant. Otto, Otto relax. We cannot go home. Tell me, Otto. That's an order. Otto, are you going to talk? Sir. Is it cause Earth is destroyed? Operation cleanup has well uh, failed. Dang. Unsustainable on Earth. Unsustainable. Stay the course. Rather than try and fix this problem, it'll just be easier for everyone to remain in space. I mean, this Loki hit close to home because like global warming is horrible and is getting worse and worse each day. And sometime in the future, if we keep going how we're going, there's going to be drastic, drastic changes to the earth for sure. So, yeah, this might feel like science fiction now, but who knows? Go to full autopilot, take control of everything and do not return to Earth. Wow. Something can be done, right? Message received in the year 2110. Green and growing. It's living proof right. it was wrong. Irrelevant, Captain. Irrelevant? Completely relevant. That's all I've ever done. That's all anyone on this blasted ship has ever done. Nothing. There you go, Captain. You will survive. I don't want to survive. I want to live. Mm. That's a bar. I don't want to survive. I want to live. Oh, yeah. That, that that's a quote you can live by for sure yeah in a lot of ways man you gotta live life don't just survive ah. i'm the captain of the axiom yes we sir are going home today uh. are they about to take him out <laughs> eve blast eve, that mother you put this plant straight in the hollow detector no Blast them while he's yeah. <laughs> Wally. Eva? Wally. Wally. Eva. Oh, you better not mess with Eva. Wally about to go nuts. What the heck? Oh no. Oh, 
That is messed up. You are to find two quarters. No! Mutiny! Mutiny! <laughs> Mutiny indeed. Interesting. Cause it's like on one hand, nah. Well, Earth can be saved. But if they go to Earth in the condition it is right now, probably they probably won't survive. But yeah, let's see how this wraps up. Activating airlock disposal. Airlock disposal? Oh no. Activating airlock disposal. Wow, these are gigantic wallies. Oh man, look at them. Oh no, it can't end like this. Out a girl. Go get your boy. <laughs> My guy is here looking for them as well. Wow, he's the reason they survived. Wow. Shout out to you, my man. Oh, don't tell me while he's done. Like, I know this movie is not that dark. Like, I hope while he's not one of those super emotional animated movies. Oh, Wally just want to hold your hand. Your name is Mo? I like Mo. Oh, she's trying to replace him. Hmm. That's the reactive now. Wow. Nah, this is. Hmm. Their memories on Earth. Earth! Earth! Oh. <laughs> Mo, you're part of the gang now. Let's freaking go. <laughs> I thought Wally was done right there. I'm like, oh, is this movie gonna make me emotional? Like, what's going on here? I love that all the rogue robots, robots are supporting them now. They're on a mission. I love how this is a this is something different from the very popular AI taking over the world trope. Like in this one, like humans are the one who brought about their own demise. And it's pretty ironic that it's actually the AI and the robots that are actually trying to save humanity here. So that's awesome. But you could argue that it's actually humans that are a cause of that because Wally essentially learned from humanity, right? With all the thing he collected and the movies he watched with the dances and all that. So that was a whole lot of rambles, but I'm, you feel what I'm saying. Possible. Yo, you are a hater. You are a certified hater. Go, Captain. I am locked in my room. Bring the plant to the Lido deck. Uh oh, everybody's seen it. Oh, oh my. Clear. <laughs> He's cleaning it. <laughs> oh, oh. Go crazy. Hey, the misfits are gonna change the world, man. Captain. Oro is pretty scary, I ain't gonna lie. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Too heavy for you? <laughs> Too heavy for you? <laughs> bye bye. Yeah, they're getting everybody ready for Earth. Ooh. Yikes. Go get it, Eve. <laughs> this is kind of like the Titanic. 
right? Otto, you are freaking nuts. Uh -oh. No, 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 no. Go, Wally. Let's go. Wally lifts weights, y'all. No! No, 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 Wally. Do you even remember how to walk? Wow. I forgot how to walk. Go do something, Captain. That thing is crushing Wally. <laughs> go, Cap. This thing is crushing Wally. You are relieved of duty. Let's go, manual. <laughs> Where's the plant? I love that he found a. I love the fact that he found a role in the movie. Look at the teamwork. Plant origin verified. Oh my god, Wally is busted. No way, Wally's done? How are they gonna survive on this earth though? <laughs> Cockroach is waiting for his homies. <laughs> Back home, baby. <laughs> I don't think uh, this is the earth y'all were looking forward to. Y'all are not gonna last a day on this earth. Yo, go help Wally, man. Oh yeah, Wally got spear parts and stuff. <laughs> Jack. <laughs> That's beautiful. She's literally fixing up Wally again. Which is great, because Wally always fixed himself. Just a little bit of sunshine, baby. Come on, boy. Hey. We back in business, baby. Aw, you saved Wally. Wally? Wally, talk to her. <laughs> Cockroach is like, this is what you always wanted. Hmm, this song is no more there. Is that like a different Wally? Hmm, her Wally is not there anymore. Oh, would that make him remember? The spark. <laughs> I ain't letting you go, baby. <laughs> yeah. He's still there. <laughs> Yeah. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Cockroach, the best wingman ever. <laughs> hey. I mean, realistically, I don't think y'all will survive, but I love that they're back home. Wow. I think there's a lesson here. Regardless, Earth can still be preserved. But obviously, let's not wait that long before we start healing the Earth. 
Wally was a very fun movie. Obviously, like very good commentary about our Earth and how we have the power to like save our world because it is scary. Um, I think this summer or last summer, like things were very horrible all around the world that you could directly correlate to global warming, like the crazy forest fire fires in Canada or the like hurricanes around, earthquakes in different places, seawater levels levels rising and stuff like that so that's good like commentary on how like we need to freaking fix our planet you know which is tough to do because there's a bunch of grown-up adults out there who say who say climate change is a hoax and climate change is not real let's not even get there but i love that social um that um commentary on the movie and also i think this movie brilliantly did a lot of good storytelling without words you know for Donya the first half of the movie which was which i think was brilliant i think that's something pixar freaking has in the bag so there was these two individuals that just by wally bumping into them it took their screens away and they were able to actually interact with the world and interact with each other obviously i think that's beautiful commentary about sometimes just look at the good things around you you know put the phone away put the distractions away and just enjoy life it's kind of like that bar captain freaking hit us with i want to live i don't just want to survive so remember to live a little you know what i'm saying i really like that as well and the way Way they all came together to fight Otto it was freaking brilliant it was wholesome I was getting worried at a point I'm like is this movie gonna make me freaking weepy because after like Wally had done near two near-death experience and I guess the third one it wasn't death per se but because she because Eve put him back together with so many different parts uh, it's almost like he was a new Wally you know what I'm saying? But I'm glad that just that connection they had brought him back there. Very good. Very good. This is the second animated, American animated movie I've done on my channel. I did Puts in Boots. Uh, you can check that out on my channel. But I really like it. So, like, recommend some more in the comments. Thank you for watching. If you have watched this far, hit Wally in that comments. Let me hear your thoughts. I love you. Take care of yourself. And uh, see you in the next movie. Peace.